Is this not the most beautiful produce section you've ever seen? You better come on, Sprouts. Look at those carrot. Girl, it makes me want to eat everything on here. Beautiful. Hello friends, hi. It is time for me to do my grocery shopping. I try to do my grocery shopping on Mondays because I find if I go any other day of the week, they are literally out of everything. I don't know if it's like that where you live, but especially at the Kroger by my house, they don't have any fresh fruit. They barely have any meats. It's really crazy. Are you guys experiencing the same thing? I know a lot of it has to do with supply chain, issues and logistics some of it's COVID related it's related some of it's not it's just like a whole plethora of things but you can definitely see it in the grocery store along with the increased prices but i'm so super excited today because i am going to a brand new sprouts that is near my house i'm so excited and happy that now there's a sprouts that it's close there is a sprouts that's about 20 30 minutes away so i've only been like once but i'm so excited to see this new sprouts by me we'll probably run into costco's as well so let's get there my we have two guests coming with us today my sister say hi sis Costco time <laughs> oh wow okay and my mom but she, we're waiting for my mom to come out I'm driving my dad's truck and um, we're gonna go ahead and see what this new sprouts is all about here we are there's like literally nobody here except for us oh look at those um little pumpkins these are adorable See, 98 cents. That's so cute. Squash. Look at this one. Pretty. I think they're pretty. I think they are too. And the corn? Yeah, the corn is pretty. These are nice for Thanksgiving. Yeah, but how long does that last? Yeah. For a centerpiece? Mm, I don't, if it lasts till Thanksgiving, yeah. This store is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's so clean. There's nobody in here. Oh man, this is great. I'm so excited about this. It's not far from me. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. I have no list. I have no meal plan, girl. We are winging it. And I gotta come out of here with a whole meal plan for the week. Snacks for my girls, lunch, and everything. So wish me luck. Moon drop grapes. Never heard of these. I know Zara would not eat these because they're big. She only likes small grapes. My child is so picky. Like even these, well these are okay. They're not too big. If they're really too big, like, she will not eat them at all. Gosh, we're still in the bakery section here because it looks so good, doesn't it? They have a nice vegan selection too, which is great. Their cookies look, are so soft. This salted caramel chocolate chunk, chocolate cookies look delicious. Look at that, gourmet sliced bulk smoked bacon. Wow. This is great, like as a specialty store. I don't know if I'd buy, regularly buy my meats from here because the price is a little expensive. But if I wanted to get a certain cut of steak, like this Angus grass-fed New York strip, some fillets or something like that, I would definitely get it. The fish is, is looks delicious too. Wild sockeye salmon and everything. Wow. $6.99 for this small pack of meats here. It's pretty expensive. It says it's all natural, but it does not say it's organic, so. Oh, it's grass-fed, okay. Some of these are grass-fed, some of them are not in the green. Is this not the most beautiful produce section you've ever seen? You better come on, Sprouts. Look at those carrots. Girl, it makes me want to eat everything on here. Beautiful. Love these colored cauliflowers. Right? I don't think they taste any different. Wow, look at this honey. Wildflower honey is so dark. I don't know if it's local though. Gave syrup. These tomatoes look beautiful, do they not? The avocados, the cucumbers. Oh no, those are squash. Everything looks so good. Lots of fancy frozen fries here. I see my keto um, waffles over there. My, back in my keto days. Oh, look at that. Organic Sea Farms kelp. I wonder how that tastes. I really do. Because I, I know how kelp smells. And if it tastes the way it smells, no thanks. We have the happy eggs that are on sale. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of those. 
They have the organic happy eggs. And then they have, I don't like the blue ones as much, even though those are supposed to be really, really healthy. Free range on past, these are all should be free range though, hold on. Yeah, there's a keto waffles. Now I didn't like the chocolate chip ones, I don't, I didn't like those, but I liked these. It was a nice treat when I was keto. Speaking of keto, uh, it's hard to do keto, bro, this time of year. With all the candy everywhere and the holidays coming up, girl. That's rough. We have this the unsweetened organic. vanilla coconut milk. coconut milk. Look at it's on sale. I know, I loved that when I was keto. That was my favorite. So You're good. You're not gonna get it? I might. Honey? I have some at oh, home. Some. Just regular, because I couldn't find the unsweetened vanilla. I used to love milkadamia too, that was good. I've been seeing the trend on TikTok to make like a sushi bowl, like a salmon and rice sushi bowl. You mix it all up and then you take sheets of seaweed and put the rice and salmon mixed up into the seaweed. Of course you're gonna put sauce on it and seasoning and everything and then eat it. It's just like eat, having sushi at home, which I thought was good. I tried the rice and sushi, and uh, rice and salmon, I'm sorry, mixed up with like some yum yum sauce and soy sauce and stuff. It was so good to just eat it like that, even without the seaweed. Gosh, these pastas are fancy, girl. We're only gonna go to Costco today, so it's like, I know we're gonna have, so tonight we're gonna have shrimp linguine. Tomorrow, I'll probably buy some chicken and just grill some chicken and have the cauliflower. Right, so that's meal two. And then Wednesday, uh, I don't know, I gotta think about it. I love that they have a large selection of children's vitamins here, which is great, and medicine, like cold medicine and stuff like that. Like, I like Highlands brand. Oh, Garden of Life, I didn't know they made baby stuff too. Very good. Oh, I love Maddie's cough syrup. That works really well. Girl, we are still here. This chocolate area, dangerous. Ooh, oh, my girls would love these. Sour worms or gummies. But I love a chocolate covered raisin. Or, I don't like malt balls. Uh-uh. Chocolate covered espresso beans? Never even had it. Ooh, peanut butter chocolate malt. No, I'm, I could I can fool with that. We lost my mom. She's so short. I can't see and my sister too. They're pretty short. I'm the tallest one. Um, they can see me over the aisles, but oh, there she is. <laughs> my sister and my mom are, are just blend right in because they are the height of the aisles. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. Beautiful. Okay, so we just yeah, got place, out of there. You know, you you go and <laughs> go ahead, mom. <laughs> Go ahead, don't don't be shy with the camera. It's very expensive. Yeah, it, I would say it's, it's, good. it's good a specialty a store. Things. Yeah, like the chocolates and the nuts, all different types of nuts that you can buy per pound. You would go in there for that, maybe a special cuts of meat or something, but it's not some place that I would regularly go. That's why it's really not, still not that many people in here. It's not crowded at all. But I like to have that option here. So like I said, it's just gonna be a specialty store for me. It's not gonna be a normal weekly thing, maybe during the holidays or something like that. Ashley? Yeah, I, um. You know, I don't really grocery shop that often like that. I just get what I need and get out. Um, and I usually go to Whole Foods anyway. So, I mean, it was, yeah, it was pricey, but I was able to find a few things. But I prefer Whole Foods. Mm. They have a lot of natural things. Yeah. So. Mm hmm Like, you know, the vitamins, this section of vitamins oils. is very, very yep. nice. The different exotic oils, cooking oils, all of that is, is nice, but like you don't need that all the time. We stopped at lunch for mod pizza. It wasn't the best. I ate it because I was hungry. The sauce is a little bit much, but it's a new place over here, but we're trying to make it to Costco on time. Uh, my mom and my sister just eat a little bit slower than me, so. We're just getting ready to run into Costco real quick. Mom, is this your first time coming into Costco since the pandemic? Yay! Oh, she's so excited. All right, let's go on in. All right, y'all, we're hopefully not staying in here too long, but they have the toys up here already. $19.99. So cute. These are $35.99, that's kind of high. Here's the OXO, $60 for nine piece. Um, this is actually a really good, really good price. I just redid our pantry. If you haven't seen that video, you can tap this eye right here. But this is such a good deal to get it here as opposed to even getting the set from Walmart, the better brand, 
better gardens. It gets expensive to get nine pieces. You're gonna spend about the same amount of, of money. So it's just, like I said, easier to just come here with the OFSL brand for 60 bucks. Vitamix, $399.99. Everybody says this is the best mixer you'll, you can ever get. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. My mom loves hers. Oh, who knew that these inflatable body boards, is it a body board? It's paddle board. Inflatable paddle boards are so expensive. $329.99? Whoa. This is a nice dual heating blanket. We have one, but it's so old. It's like 10 years old, but this one like cuts off after 10 hours. Super soft. Love that. $89.99. They have cute sweatshirts too. Just plain hoodie. Hoodies. They're super soft. Cute and black. My mom's looking at the jackets. The jacket was only eleven ninety nine. Thirty two degrees on sale. That's a good price. Here's my tree. I love it so much. So it makes me happy. I can't wait to uh, decorate for Christmas. Yeah, I'm gonna do it early, right after Halloween, early November, girl. I'm bringing all the Christmas stuff up out of the basement, and I'm so excited about it. Now these tapes are usually seven ninety nine. Costco needs to stop because it's never been twelve forty nine to take four fifty off to make it seven ninety nine. It's always seven ninety nine. Sometimes six ninety nine. But I always get it during the holidays, girl, because listen, my kids and tape, it's just, they go crazy with it. Are these Disney? Oh, they're so pretty. That's really pretty. They definitely have all, the, they're starting. Christmas at, Dis at Disney. <laughs> Christmas at Costco is definitely starting. Now these mats are so pretty. Are they not beautiful? Now my sister isn't really a Costco shopper. She never comes here. And she just keeps saying, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Welcome, sis, welcome. Costco is the place to be. It's the place to be. She couldn't believe it. Park and fly at the airport, five days, $39.99. That's cheap. Go ahead. Because this is a steal. Yeah, does it expire though? I don't know, that's the thing it doesn't say. Look at this, this pretty rug. I, I don't know if this is indoor or outdoor. It's so pretty though for the holidays, right? It's, it's a nice size. 22 by 38, $19.99. I think they're so pretty. I think it's indoors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's indoors. But it's beautiful. Oh, I'm ready for Christmas, y'all. I really am. My mom and sister are having a ball. They are loving it. Especially my sister, she never comes to Costco, ever. My mom loves Costco, she's missed it so much. These are on clearance. Do you remember seeing these last time I came to Costco? It's just the ones that stay together now. They had a whole bunch. They had all four of these and now they're on sale for $6.97. That's a good deal with an asterisk. That's a really good deal. Ooh, I bought a whole bunch of Christmas pillows last year so I don't need any more, but these are pretty too. Let's see, all the different kinds, $9.99. I always check to see if these are on sale, the Charisma, because these are so, I love the towels. These luxury bath towels, oh. This one or the extra long one. Remember, I got these for like four bucks each in white. It was so soft. I love them. They have the Welly Wishers. So cute. No, 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 they just have like they have the Ashling, Kindle, Camille, and that's the only one the girls don't have is Camille. I think it's ninety nine ninety eight. That's a pretty good price because the Welly Wishers are usually eighty dollars. Is it eighty dollars? Maybe $60, but with all the accessories. It's cute. I flipped the sign over. It's actually $89.99. No, these are Welly Wishers. So the Welly Wishers are $60 normally. Oh. And then the accessories with it. So it's still hot. This is so cute. The wooden dolls. It's $19.99, this wooden doll Girl, set. What would I do with this? Super cute. I don't know. What chicken and shrimp now? I can't remember if I. I might have one more pack of ground beef left. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some. Um, this isn't gonna be my full Costco haul for the month. It's just I'm stopping by with my sister and my mom and I'll have to come back for some of the other things. I mean mom it is a full chicken. $7.50 for one of these. Seven fifty, mom yeah. what year was that at Costco? Mom seven fifty for this big chicken pot pie I don't think so. Maybe twelve ninety nine or something but seven fifty? No this is three ninety nine a pound. Well it's dinner for two or three days for you all. They finally have the juice boxes back by Kirkland. Yay, so I'm gonna get some for the girls. I love these keto bars, so good. Now these look kinda good, cause I do like the Biscoff cookies. I wonder how the ice cream bars look taste. 
My mom says on the ice cream sandwiches they cheat you because they're super small. They're smaller than what's in the um, regular grocery store. Just talking about these. Oh, that looks good though. Remember these? Oh, yummy. Keto waffles in a big pack here at Costco, $12.49. Usually they're $6.99 for a six pack at Target. Wow, the Gloosby sausage is going up $9.39. They were $8.99 for the longest, and sometimes you could catch them for $2 off and get them for $6.99, but $9.39 I think is the most expensive I've ever seen this. Reminds me of my childhood, the Danish butter cookies. We always had them. Free holiday, $12.99 for four cans. Girl, listen, these bacon prices are just starting to be scary. The Kirkland brand, $21.99. My brand, okay, it came down a little bit because I think it was $24.79 last time I was here. Now it's $22.79. I mean, this is ridiculous. It used to be $18.99. I've gotten it, it as cheap as $14.99 before. I'm not gonna get any because I got some bacon from Sprouts, but still. Plus it tastes different now since post-pandemic. It's just, maybe we just got a bad batch, but I don't know. It's just very, very expensive. Girl, we are st still here. They're having the time of their lives. They just love it so much. I had to text Charles and be like, can you go get the girls from school because I didn't expect to be out here this long, but they love it. Look at these delicious War Underworks keto cereal. This was is new here. I've never seen this here. 1069. It has an asterisk, which means they might not they might not uh restock this, but it's something to try. I have some at home. This company actually sent me some to try. It was pretty good when I was keto. It was something different. I didn't eat it as a cereal, but I ate it like a snack which is nice three net carbs look at my mom and then my sister's cart you too it's, it's not just mom it's you as well they're getting off on costco there's mine Ooh, keto nut granola they have more Ooh, blueberry cinnamon i bet you this is really good 12.79 of course they have the hemp part it's 11.99 great snack even if you're not keto my mom was shocked to see how much this corn is 9.99 12 cans even though it's cheaper to get it here than to get it at like the regular grocery store they used to have the costco brand of corn that was like 5.99 for 12 cans but they don't have it anymore these are so pretty for the fall right beautiful 15.99 for a bouquet you get too much but got just enough probably to last us for a couple of weeks and i'll come back mom and sis are still checking out i am all finished i didn't do too bad today but i spent double the amount at here than I did at Sprouts, but I feel like I got better deals here. I don't know. I just don't feel like I got that much at Sprouts for it to be $77, but I'm gonna show you guys when I get home and then we can talk about it. We made it, y'all. Oh my gosh, Lord have mercy. It was so much stuff. I just had to load up in my dad's truck. My mom walked the whole time. Good job, mom. Put my that sister. Drive. It's <laughs> time to go. It's hot. It's hot, but we, we made it. I'm home. Just to put that in ref in context, I got to my mom's house at around 9.30, 9.45. We didn't leave 10.30, 10.45. It is now 4.43, yeah. So, all right, let me show you what I got from Sprouts. I got three pumpkins for my counter. This is about as much as I decorate for fall. So if you're looking for like a fall decorate with me, you know, this channel, girl, ain't it for that. But uh, I do like to get a few pumpkins just to lay on the counter. Hopefully these will last until Thanksgiving. I don't know. I've had luck with these in the past and then I haven't. So we'll see how long they last. But as long as they last, that's what I'll just leave them out for. I got some cauliflower. because I was going to have some roasted cauliflower, maybe with some sauteed chicken tomorrow for dinner. I got another pineapple, some grapes eggs, fresh uh, green beans. I'll maybe have that with some chicken as well. Not tomorrow, on Wednesday. So I'm gonna have a Taco Tuesday or Nacho Tuesday on uh, tomorrow. And then tonight we have the shrimp scampi. I got the pasta, uh, a nice fresh juicy tomato. It looks so good in the store. I got some la lavender chamomile tea. This looks really good, this herbal tea to try. Plus it has probiotics, which is always good. I always like to have some tea stocked up. I got these little apples. How cute are they? adorable they're just super small um i don't think they're organic but they say they're sweet and miniature apples so we're gonna try those i think it's perfect for the girls i have some vanilla yogurt grass-fed i've never tried grass-fed yogurt before it's my first time trying this brand so we'll see how i like it raspberries strawberries blackberries some bacon boar's head bacon i've never tried boar's head bacon before so we'll see how um this tastes i think this was 12.99 if i can't remember some carrots, some sugar cookies, and some blueberry muffins. 
clearly the baking aisle looks so good. So how much do you think this was? I mean, I would say the prices, I don't know. I think they're similar to Trader Joe's, very, very similar. But the only thing with Sprouts is Trader Joe's has their own line that's very, very strong, very strong brand, um, especially in the freezer section, like their beef and broccoli is really good, their orange chicken, whereas Sprouts really doesn't have that. It's just lots of natural things. The thing that saves sprouts is, like I said, the center part where you can um, get your own oats, like weigh it out. Any kind of nut you can ever think of. You can get chocolates, candies and all that. It's like just specialty things that you don't need all the time. I feel like any of this I could have gotten anywhere. So all of this all together was $77, I believe so. I don't know, we'll see. But let me see, show you what I got from Costco. From Costco, I got two things of lemonade because my children and my husband just run through this lemonade girl they love this organic lemonade i got my girls some more juice boxes these have not been in stock since the beginning of school we, we go back to school or we went back to school early august so it's now october and they finally had these back so my girls like these so i got them some more of those they really love the non bread i decided to try the mini ones this time they like to look make little mini pizza bites with it themselves so um i got them those some wild caught Georgia honey, local honey. Of course, the tape is always good to have with the holidays coming up. Some fresh broccoli, cheese sticks, butter, organic ground beef, bananas, bread. We'll put that in the freezer. Some cookies for my husband. Some animal crackers. My husband likes these the most, actually. He really loves them. And I've tasted them before. They're really good. I got the super smoothie because I'm going to start eating, drinking my smoothies again. I love that this has everything in it. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and bananas. All you have to do is add your own you know, liquid, either you could do water, you could do whole milk, you could do coconut milk, almond milk, whatever you want. Um, I'm excited to try this out. I believe that is it from Costco. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I don't feel like I got that much from Costco. I don't know, for as much as I spent. Altogether from Costco, I spent $133. Like, what did I get? The ground beef was probably the most expensive thing at $20. Not sure how much that super smoothie was. That bag of super smoothie, I'm not sure. The honey was $12.79, but that's it. I don't know. Girl, listen, the prices are so high everywhere, it's like you just don't know. You really don't know what you're gonna spend. It's hard to keep adjusting your budget, you know, but we just gotta hang in there. But that is it, my friends. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and spending the day with me, shopping with my family. I pray you guys are all safe and well. And yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know what did you get from Costco this week? Do you have a Sprouts near you? Also, I found out they are building a new little Lindell, no, Little, I think it's L I D L. It's a new grocery store chain that's coming here. Leave a comment down below if you have that in your area. What kind of store is it? Like, what is it similar to? I'm looking forward to trying that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.